I'm not going to take a long call. However, I do want to raise an issue with the Minister that if maybe in the third reading uh, she may respond uh, to that, it would be very helpful. And it's just really with the appointment of members to the Waikato River Authority. The Act is very express in terms of the method in which the Minister and local government select uh, their members. Just as a point of clarification, it would be helpful to know uh, where iwi appoint members. Those appointments do not necessarily coincide with the election cycles of particular trust boards. And my question is that if a member was elected to a trust board and then nominated uh, to sit on the uh, river, uh, uh, the river authority, and then an election took place, and they were no longer a member of the trust board. Do they continue to finish their term? And uh, it, it's it's not a big issue, but but as a point of uh, uh, it could be a point of contention. Uh, for members who uh, may not have confidence in that member, yet that member is representing their interests on the trust board. So I just raise that as uh, potentially something that might uh, be considered uh, for response uh, in the third reading, because it would be helpful to have the Minister's view, even though it's not clearly expressed in legislation, uh, reflected um, uh, in order to interpret, I think, the intent of uh, the discussions that have taken place. I think it's a very important issue um, because we know uh, that the cycle of uh, membership of, of trust boards are as tumultuous as our cycle here in Parliament and uh, politics often gets in the way of uh, good representation. Notwithstanding that, it's my sincere ambition that any member appointed uh, to the River Authority will do the best job that they can on behalf of their, their, their iwi. And should they not, no longer be elected uh, to represent uh, their iwi and be sitting on their trust board, that shouldn't affect uh, their term in office. But as I say, politics often gets in the way. Uh, it would be helpful to have the Minister's thought on that particular issue. Kia ora. Members, the question is that the amendments set out on SOP number 169 be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. Contrary opinion will say no. The ayes have it. Party vote call for. Clerk, please conduct the party vote. New Zealand National, 58 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour, 42 votes in favour. Green Party, 9 in favour. Act New Zealand, 4 votes opposed. Māori Party, four in favour. Progressive, one in favour. United Future, one in favour. Honourable Chris Carter, any other votes? Members, the ayes are 115, the noes are 4, the SOP is agreed to. Members, the question now is that clauses 1 and 2, parts 1, 2 and 3 and schedules 1 to 5, as amended, stand part. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. The contrary opinion will say no. The ayes have it. A party vote is called for. Clerk, please conduct the party vote. New Zealand National, 58 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour, 42 votes in favour. Green Party, 9 in favour. Act New Zealand, 4 votes opposed. Māori Party, 4 in favour. Progressive, 1 in favour. United Future, in favour. Honourable Chris Carter, any other votes? Members, the ayes are 115, the noes are 4. The question is agreed to. I will now report the bill with amendment. The House has resumed. Uh, Mr Chairman. Uh, Mr Speaker, the committee has considered the Ngāti Tūwhari Tō, Rokawa and Te Arua River Iwi Waikato River Bill and reports the bill with amendment. Mr Speaker, I move that the report be adopted. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. Contrary, no. The motion is agreed to.
This bill is set down for third reading next sitting day. Point of order. A point of order, Joe Goodhue. Mr Speaker, I seek leave of the House for the House to now rise for the evening, having sustained excellent progress. Uh, leave a sort for the House to rise. Is there anyone opposed to that course of action? There appears not. Leave is granted. So the House stands adjourned until 2pm tomorrow. Good evening, everybody.